The 2016 version of The Color Purple won the Tony Award for Best Revival of a Musical, and now it's on national tour. It's based on the Pulitzer Prize winning story of a young woman's journey to love and triumph in the American South. And here to tell us about it is ensemble player Jeremy Watley. There's a reason we wanted to talk to you especially. It's because you're from North Texas. That is correct. Where are you I from? I am born and raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome home, I guess Thank I should you. say. Do you tour and travel around all the yes. time? Yes. Um, I actually live in Los Angeles. I've lived there for the last 10 years, um, but we have been touring since October. Okay. And this is your first national tour, right? This is so, my first how tour. has that experience been? It has been a lot of work. Yeah. Um, a lot of traveling. I did not know what to expect, um, sure. but I'm having a lot of fun. But it's it's great work and I'm truly blessed. How do you take care of yourself on the road? Uh, I take eight vitamins a day. Wow, okay. And um, just, I try to rest when I can. Rest when you can, yeah. that's, a, that's a great uh, bit of advice for yeah. anyone out there <laughs> who's about to take on something like that. Absolutely. So uh, the church really influenced you and your love of music growing Absolutely. up, right? So Absolutely. how was that experience? So I grew up raised, uh, born and raised here in church and I used to sing in choir hmm. every Sunday hmm. and I was also in band okay. so when it came time for me to go to college I was a little unsure if I wanted to pursue fine arts or performing arts and so I decided that I wanted to go to school for performing arts and I moved to Los Angeles in 09 and started school and then I've been performing professionally since 2013. Man, but you've got to be talented to do that. No, like I know a ton of people <laughs> who've just moved to LA to try to do stuff like that or to New York and not everyone makes it. That's tough. It takes it's a hustle. <laughs> it takes a lot of hard work, a yeah. lot of courage, um, a lot of perseverance. Mm. Um, that's the most important thing because you can go on a great audition knock it out the park and not even get a call back. Wow. Um, or get a call back and not get the part. Yeah. You know, so it truly takes a lot of perseverance. Okay, so tell us about your roles in The Color Purple. So I play the paw, I, the paw? I play paw, <laughs> guard, and I am also uh, understudying Harpo and Mister. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so it's a lot, but I actually did the show locally in Los Angeles last year um, as Harpo, so mm. that was kind of, that was a bit easy. I'm like, okay, I can just focus on, you know, knowing that part, but Mr. is the one that's a, a bit challenging, um, but Pa is, you, you see him at the beginning of the play, um, he's Seely's father, and he is definitely um, very hard on her, and he does not get any applause whatsoever, mm. and then he goes away, mm. and then later in the show, I am the guard, where Sophia is uh, taken away by the mayor's men. So that is some skill and like yeah. I said, talent too, because yeah. you're not focused on just one role and one character yeah. really. It's like kind of a lot. Um, but this is a very powerful show. Absolutely. Yeah. What kind of resonates with you about this whole story? Empowerment. Line? Yeah. Um, especially for the women. This show is solely about the women. And I think that's pivotal in this day and age where women are being degraded on the radio, mm. on TV, even on stage. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that this show solely involves women. Um, the men are the support of the group, of the ensemble. Uh, we support the entire show. Mm. And there is so much strength found with Celie and with Suge and with Sophia. Yeah. Um, I love that. Um, so not everyone gets to perform in their hometown. This what is are correct. you looking forward to? Um, my entire family is going to be there. Okay. Um, also, I have friends that I probably have not seen since high school who also will be in attendance. So that's really rewarding for me. And this is definitely like a full circle moment for sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're yeah. so proud of you. Absolutely. It is so Absolutely. hard to make it in this industry. It really I'm is. proud of you too. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on and chatting with us. Uh, big thanks to Sonia there. The uh, color purple, which did so well, of course, uh, in the movie version, uh, is sure to be a hit on stage as well. It plays one performance only this Sunday at Bass Performance Hall in Fort Worth. For ticket information, go to BassHall.com. It then moves to the Winspear Opera House in Dallas for a week. That starts next Tuesday, January 7th. Just go to ATTPAC.org for that information for the Dallas performance.